We average about 335,000 calls a year in Metro Communications, and what we found is the majority of our 911 calls that we're taking are coming from cell phones, which is great because with cell phones you have immediate information. Um, people can relay emergencies right as they see them. That's wonderful. However, there is a common misperception with cell phones that when you call, we know exactly where you're at. And we see that a lot on TV where they pick up the phone, they call 911, and then the sirens appear in the background. However, it's not an exact science like that. We don't have an exact location from cell phones. We have latitude and longitude coordinates, um, which takes several minutes to process if we don't have a caller who can provide the location right away. The difference in calling from your cell phone and your landline at home is when you dial 911 in an emergency at home, your information automatically displays on the screen. So we'll see the, the address that you're calling from and a phone number and we'll have your name. When you call from your cell phone, we're just getting the latitude and longitude coordinates and your phone number. There's no other information. So if you have a medical emergency where you might be choking or you're having an asthma attack or you're unable to speak, when you call from your home phone, we at least have the location information so we can send somebody out to determine what is the problem and, and get help started that way. Um, unfortunately, with cell phones, because we don't have an exact address right there, there are several other steps that are involved. So we may have to go through a cell phone trace, which can take, depending on the company, up to 15 or 20 minutes to get the information back, or other resource files if you've ever called 911. But then the challenge there, too, is when you call from your cell phone, you're mobile. So if you've called before and you lived at this address, and now you've moved to another address and haven't called 911 since, we would have outdated information on file. So it really creates a misperception for callers what we're able to do and not able to do, um, but there's several more steps involved when you call from a cell phone versus an actual landline. Difference. Well, yeah, it could be um, you know a difference of five minutes or it could be a difference of a couple hours. It just depends how soon we can we can locate information or get something valid to send officers or paramedics or firefighters out on. Um, that information is critical. And I know with the current economic status, many people don't see the need to keep both of their landline and their cell phone when they're paying for the different packages involved. But um, I would encourage everybody to keep a landline for the, the purpose of calling during an emergency, even if you have to knock your services down to a basic service so that we know exactly where you're calling from if an emergency should happen when you're at home. And you can use the GPS from your cell phone. The coordinates will come up. However, it's still a latitude, longitude coordinate that's received. It's not an exact science as it is when you're calling from 123XYZ Street um, at your home. And so even when you call from a cell phone with GPS, we still have to process those latitude, longitude coordinates and try and determine the location. And we can only get it down to um, a number of feet or some kind of a... Um, approximate location and so as long as you're outside and it's an audible problem or it's really easy to see what the problem is we can send officers out and if you're narrowed down to maybe a hundred feet it might be easy to spot but if it's a busy time of day or there's no um, way to hear or see the problem it's going to be a lot harder we've had um, a few situations where people have called during a medical emergency unable to speak and provide a location and unfortunately, the details that were on file were outdated because they had moved already. Um, so we knew that there was an emergency happening. We had it narrowed down to an approximate location after going through some resource files, um, but it just wasn't soon enough. Because of the wireless. And it was because they were on a wireless phone, yes. So. It can make a difference in life and death.